www.newtoboss.com. This is Ty, and I'm going to be having another video tutorial. This time, I'd like to share to you and how you can um, create a sepia effect or add a photo filter sepia effect on your photographs. Uh, the reason why you would want to do add sepia filters to make it a little more dramatic, a little washed out, a little hazed up, and that would give out something. Uh, some sort of a drama for photographs. So how you do that is, I'm just going to first show you images that we uh, decided to use right here. Uh, this one flower right here, we would want to create, uh, I mean add a sepia filter for this. So this was taken originally, this is a raw image though, taken by a Nikon camera running at 60 megapixels. So let's start off, bring up your Photoshop and just load your image. Uh, look up for the image, drag that in there. Or if you don't want to drag that, you could also do Control O and look up for the image, double click, and it's going to be loaded in there. Got a lot of ways to do that. You could also use Adobe Bridge for that. And here, first you want to do is to check for the resolution. Control Alt I, and that's the resolution right there. The reason why you want to check the resolution because if you're going to use this for um, web devices, like uh, I mean, for websites, you might want to resize that to 1050 or something smaller. All right, but if you'd want to just edit this original raw photo right here, then you can do so go ahead and add the filter. First we have to do is double click on this background layer right here on the right side then it would release uh, the lock element in there so you could work on this. You say base, rename that to base, control J so you could copy and then uh, rename that to something that says overlay. Alright, so first you have the base and then the overlay. Why you would want to keep the base? Because if you make mistakes on the, the overlay or the second one, you still can delete this and you have still the original file. And also, you can have a comparison from the original to the edited file, alright, or the edited layer. So hide this, um, remove the eye icon, and then highlight this so you could be working on this, okay? So on this part, what you first have to do is to uh, here, file edit image on the toolbars right on top. Click on image, then go to adjustments. Scroll down a little bit, look up for something that says photo filter. Right? Click on that. You got a lot of filters here. You bring this up a little bit to the right side so you could have an open workspace so you can see every change that's going to happen every time you select a filter. Um, let's say warming filter. It's going to change yellow it's gonna change let's use a blue filter it's gonna change deep red it's gonna change um, deep emerald is gonna change so again you could uh, think of this that you just use uh, using filter caps or sort of like polarizers on your DSLRs just overlaying that in there but the moment you uncheck luminosity that means that you lose light a little bit Okay, you make it a little bit luminous or a bit lighted, keeping the light in there. So what you do, again, what we're trying to target here is a sepia filter effect. Click on sepia and click on the color right here. Now density, you have to raise that up to 100. Now take a look at that. If you want to check luminosity, then it's, it's, it's okay, but it's, it's, it's really hazy. It seems that you are looking into something, uh, sort of like a tint window. But here, there you go. That is the drama that we're looking for in there. So click on OK. And that's about it. You just have to save that. Um, sometimes you can add text. Maybe you're trying to send this to somebody. Um, let's try to add text a little bit. What we would want to do right here is to add a watermark. Let's uh, say. Boss.com. Yeah, you can use Impact and you can use Jennifer handwriting for this so that it would match up a little bit and something like that here. Now, 
uh, newtoboss.com on this part is actually floating so you might want to make that a little bit down for opacity there you go something like that okay so that's about it creating a sepia filler effect what you just have to finally do is to save that file uh, save as uh, go for images then uh, look for the JPEG container and you say uh, sepia image or whatever and uh, file size should be maxed up to the largest file why so you could keep that as an original you can just resize the other if you need to do so double click on the original file there you have this and this is the newer file we just created let me just show that to you in slideshow this is the file which looks really really nice and oh where's the other this is the other one <laughs> sorry it's trying to do slideshow a little bit faster okay so that's about it again you could always check our website www.newtoboss.com for video tutorials and on YouTube our YouTube channel is youtube.com slash new to work again my name is Ty thanks for watching see you back